resilience is being pushed to the limit in Tacloban one year after Typhoon Haiyan, the deadliest Philippine typhoon on record. The archipelago of more than 7,000 islands is still struggling to rebuild. In the port city, there are 25,000 people still living in transitional housing. The government promised to provide 14,500 new houses, but the mayor says it has delivered only 100. Lita Pa, whose family are waiting, says they said all of us living in tents will get one. The biggest question is when. Tacloban suffered the full force of the typhoon. Wind was measured at more than 300 kilometers per hour. Waves at seven meters. The surge over land on November the 8th caused some 7,000 deaths. Only 10% of Tacloban was relatively undamaged. The government has only just approved a six-year, three billion euro reconstruction plan. It has talked about houses that can stand wind at 250 kilometers per hour. For the moment, makeshift is the norm. A bunkhouse uh, shelters also should be for a couple of months. I think the ones that were built near San Jose, three to six months was the target for those bunkhouses to exist and then be scrapped. Um, I think we're into month 11 now and they're still there. So there's still a need to provide temporary shelters and there's definitely a need to provide permanent shelters. In the meantime, caves are also used. There are also roads, schools, port facilities and crucial coconut plantations to be revived to repair the economy. These women are earning a living making rush mats. The city is almost completely dependent on outside help and extremely vulnerable to more storms.